Hi, this is Adam Bomb 98 and today I'm going to be doing a review on all of the Cold Steel Recons. I've decided I'm just going to bunch them all into one video because, I mean, they're pretty similar other than the size difference. Let's start off this video with the specs. Here are the specifications of each of these knives and if you're interested, you can just pause the video and read. Okay, from this review, I'm going to be using my um, mini barrage custom as the pointer. So we have the uh, full size recon here. There I have a mini recon, another mini recon, and then a micro recon. So um, let me start out talking about the micro recon. I really like this knife because this knife you can have it with you anywhere because it's so tiny. Um, it's designed as a keychain knife, but I actually have a um, Kydex sheath that I use for it. You just put it in like this, and it clicks right in, and then you can wear it around your neck, and that's what I do. Um, it, you can also have it on your keys, whatever you like. I really like this knife. It comes in, um, Boss 8, and it's a great little knife. Moving up to the next size, I have the Mini Recons. This one I have just abused. Um, I have smashed it, I have, uh, cut, uh, twigs and sticks and everything and it held up nice and it has no blade play front or back just a great knife this one I haven't abused as much this is more of my EDC mini recon they open very smoothly and um they're just great knives for the money and then you move on up to the uh, full size Recon 1, I believe. This knife is huge in my hands because I have small hands. But, um, yeah. And they do have, I believe, an extra large one. One of their newer knives, which should be even bigger than this. So, um, yeah, I, I have no desire to get the extra large. That's too big for me, personally. These are my uh, favorites in this one. I need to see all these. Now, um, these are the older models, and when I say older, I mean, like, before 2015, because their newer models are made with CTS XHP blade steel versus AUS-8 or OS-8, which I believe, in my opinion, is a uh, significant upgrade. I don't have much experience with CTS XHP. But, um, I had it on that Spyderco Techno, and I loved it. I mean, it's definitely better than OS 8. Now, while these are all great knives, I should probably point out a few of the negatives. Starting one with the, um, blade coating. They only offer it in the black. They, I believe they call it, um, Tough X. I would really like to see Cold Steel offer their Recon series with, like, a satin blade. But they have it in black, and the coating is not very good. I mean, yeah, I abused this one so it shows wear, if you can see that. But this one, I mean, I just opened a few boxes with it, and you can see on the tip um, that it's starting to come off a little bit. Same with the micro recon. I mean, I'm obviously not hard using this little micro knife here. So it shouldn't really be showing that much wear. But it's alright, I guess. I do like how on all their knives, the thumb studs are removable and reversible. So if you're uh, left-handed, you can switch it to the other side. And also, if you want to hook it up to the uh, Wicked Edge knife sharpener or the um, 
Edge Pro and you need a flat surface to clamp to, you can remove the screw and it'll uh, hold your knife in like that to sharpen it. So that's cool. Another negative with these knives is the um, pocket clips. Uh, they do a good job at clipping in your pocket, but I guess a combination of the fact that they have, are really tight and then the uh, handle material is extremely grippy G10. When you clip it into your pants pocket, it tends to tear your pants after a while. So what you can do to fix that is remove the pocket clip and maybe sand down that portion of the G10 or do what Nothing Fancy did and put epoxy on it so it's smooth underneath and then it won't tear up your pants as bad. But yeah, that's pretty much, those are the only two negatives that I could find. Now Cold Steel is famous for their triad lock. Um, I'm going to try to find a diagram of it to show you guys what it looks like. It's very similar to a back lock, but it's much stronger. And that's what Cold Steel is known for, is their hard use, overbuilt, extremely tough knives. And from my testing that I've done with this knife in particular, I can definitely agree with that, that they are hard use knives. They all have a lanyard hole, so you can attach a lanyard. Um, of course, they have Torx screws, so if you want to, you can take them apart. Even the little one here. Um, they are just great knives. I do recommend each one of these. Um, if you're, especially if you're looking for a big knife, this one or the extra large will definitely do it. Alright, thanks for watching, and this is Animbomb98.